everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chidinma and I'm a junior at DePaul University and today is the first day of classes. Sorry for the really raspy morning voice and morning face. I just woke up maybe like 30 minutes ago and I stayed in bed a bit and then I got up and I made my bed and I started my breakfast slash lunch which I just needed an air fry chicken so it's in the air fryer right now. Now is the time that I get ready. First day of school vlogs are a very big part of my channel. I have done a first day of school vlog every single year so I'm now entering my fourth one. I feel like after freshman year of college like the first day of school it really isn't that interesting or exciting. A lot of people already have assignments due. I'm one of them. But either way, it's the first day of fall quarter at DePaul. DePaul University is a quarter system, meaning that we have four periods of classes instead of two. And those periods are fall, winter, spring, and summer. However, summer quarter is optional. You don't have to take classes. That's also why we start classes a lot later than most colleges. I know people have already had their first day of college classes like two weeks ago, but today is September 6th, and that's actually the earliest that I've ever started at this school. I'm gonna start off by doing my hair. Yesterday, I got the front of my hair redone by one of my friends. It's nice and fresh for the first day of school. I think I'm gonna not do my edges as much. To me, entering my junior year of college is not as exciting as entering freshman year, obviously, but it's also kind of crazy to think about how I'm halfway through my college career starting now. I honestly cannot believe that. I feel like I just moved in to my freshman year dorm, and now I live off campus with three other girls, and I only have two years left not even two years like a year and a half it's so crazy how my life has just completely changed my goodness i'm so grateful to have made it this far though especially at the same school my freshman year was kind of crazy it started off really fun but then it took a turn because i just was not hanging out with the right group of people but sophomore year was very fruitful i literally maintained like an a gpa the entire year. But I feel like that came at the expense of a lot of things. Because I was living so far away from my friends, I really did not have much of a social life. Most of my social life consisted of me going to the gym and going to work, going to church, and that's about it. It was only until the end of the school year, like around May or April, I wanna say, that I started actually like hanging out with people that live downtown that didn't go to my school, which made things a lot more fun. But for most of the school year, I was basically alone on the weekends. I didn't really do much. After school every day, I would go to the gym and then I would come home and watch TV. I didn't attend many school events because like I said, I lived far away. This year, I live closer to school, so I'm very happy that I don't have to stay at home the whole time. Yesterday, I went to the kickoff event for the first day of school. So they had like a bunch of activities in the quad, they had music, they had food, they had ice cream activities. Today, I only have two in-person classes, so I have a pretty chill day. Here is my schedule. I am taking five classes this quarter. I'm taking human form and function, which is essentially an anatomy class. That class has a lab portion. So I have three days of classes for that class. Then I am taking Black American Music. That's a general education requirement. I'm also taking African American Politics. I'm taking a math class. I don't even know the name. I think it's like data analysis. That's gen ed for math. I have yet to take a gen ed for math, so we're doing it now. And then I'm taking epidemiology, which is the study of disease prevention. So that is my class schedule, 20 credits. Okay, we are not playing this quarter. I'm about to wash my face with this bar soap. These are the three face products that I use on my skin every morning. I don't have a complex skincare routine. I probably need one. So this is a toner that I use. It is the Hydrating Milky Toner. I just use this literally every day. Hold on, wait a second. This is just a jade roller that I got off of Amazon. I've just been using this as my ice roller. I use it to depuff my face. I don't even do it every single day. I just do it enough. I also get underneath my eyes. All right, now 
now that that's done, I can go back with my milky toner. I also use Black Girl Sunscreen on my face. Only in the morning though, because I'm going outside. I also use this discoloration correcting body treatment from Good Molecules on my face. So now I wanna take this time to tell you guys what exactly I have to do today and what is on my schedule for the first day of classes. So I actually have a class today at 9.40. It's 8.40 right now, so I have one hour, and I hate being late on the first day of school. It just sets the tone for you mentally for the school year. Anyways, I do have a class at 9.40. That is my anatomy class. And then after that, I have a long free period before my next class at 1, which is... Of the black classes i honestly don't know which one i usually don't even memorize my classes until like the first week is over so i'm not gonna know where anything is for a little bit babes all right the brows are done i honestly don't really like them after my classes are done i have another free period where i can basically do whatever i want to do so we're gonna figure that out i think i am going to go to a cafe and just organize my life organize everything that I get from classes today. I was gonna try to fit in a gym session or go grocery shopping, but honestly, I can do those things later. After my little free period, I do have an event at six. This is actually kind of wild. So I work at a high-end gym and I just asked around if anybody needs a babysitter because I can charge higher than what I get paid at that job. So I've been asking a few families if they need a babysitter. So I asked one of the families, I gave her my number, the mom, and she gave me hers. And a couple days ago, she texted me inviting me to her husband's campaign event and she was like i know that you're a public health major and so i thought about you because my husband is a physician i could not pass that up at all i'm not passing that up babe i'm going she said i could also bring a friend so i'm bringing my friend suma because we're both the same major and i just think this is such a cool opportunity i'm telling you guys going to school in a big city like this has actually changed my life like there's just so much more to be offered here than at a small town state school and i'm not knocking anybody that goes to a small town state school but all my freshman year i was like i made the wrong decision coming here the city school life is not for me i want to go to a place with an actual campus but i've grown and i've realized that i'm so much better off here i've gotten so many opportunities here and it's just so crazy like, who you bump into in a city like this i'm so excited for that event and i'm just excited to see what a campaign event is like i think he's running for state senate this is a very simple makeup look as you guys saw i didn't even put powder like i just put my powder brush on my face because it has leftover powder from months ago but i did not put powder on because i don't have any okay last but not least gotta brush my teeth i brush my teeth after doing my makeup and hair i don't know i just don't do that first thing in the morning i know people do that first thing in the morning i don't i don't really see the need to i'm about to get dressed i literally just cut this shirt i got it yesterday at the little event that they had for the first day of school i literally never wear the paul merch on campus maybe like five times out of the whole school year but this is cute okay like i like this i'm gonna wear my nike pros underneath this jean skirt that i thrifted in brooklyn okay let's see how this one looks Oh, that's more like it. I love how I told you guys, oh yeah, it's the first day of junior year. I don't really care about first days anymore, but I'm um, like doing all of this. I think it's giving, as the kids say. All right, the train that I want to take is coming in approximately 13 minutes. So I have 13 minutes to eat breakfast and drink my iced coffee. I do this to myself every single year. I leave just in time and I'm not really able to sit and eat. It's hardly a breakfast. This is Melbourne. Transfer to 
Thank you. Of course. You want one of these? Yes, thank you. You too. I'm currently outside of Arts and Letters Hall. I think I have my next class here, but not for like an hour and a half. So I have a while. But they're about to do like a little ice cream social thing. So I'm going to meet a friend here and we're going to get ice cream. I think while I wait for the ice cream social to start, I am going to organize a few things on Notion and then also complete some work that is supposed to be due today for a class I took over the summer. So I see Ashna. Look how cute her first day fit is. She looks great. I just chilled and talked with her for a bit. I'm just so happy to be back at school. I don't know, this is like a cool first day. Like, it's very chill and I'm about to have ice cream. If you saw my first day vlog last year, which you definitely should, that was very chaotic. Um, at least the first part was chaotic, not the rest of the day. The first part was, so. But today's just very calm. But honestly, it is also 11.16, so let's not, let's not jinx myself right now. Go talk to our councils, get some ice cream, hang out. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my bad. Thank okay. you so much. Of course. This is a lot. I want strawberry shortcake. I never get strawberry ice cream. Sorry. Anna and I finally met up and we got the little ice cream. They're doing a frat and sorority social where you talk to all of the members and stuff, but I'm pretty sure Anna and I do not have any interest in doing any of those. So we came for the ice cream. We signed in and got ice cream. And That's literally it. back from school I want to say 20 minutes ago I'm getting ready though to go across the street to one of my favorite cafes I told you guys this morning that I got invited to a political event from one of the ladies that I asked to babysit for so I need to go to that at 6 and I want to be there on time I don't want to be late at all so I'm even gonna try to start leaving around 5 right now it's 3 13 I have so much homework already guys and I have a bit of a dilemma because I don't have classes for the rest of the week but I have my birthday weekend this weekend and I don't want to work at all I don't want to work at my job and I don't want to work on schoolwork. So that really leaves me with just today and tomorrow to get my work done. And a lot of the assignments are due on Monday. So I have to really buckle down. Also, I don't know why it's become normalized and acceptable for professors to require students to buy really expensive textbooks or get on these like little online class module things that cost a lot of money. But the one for my anatomy class is $113. So now I have to come up with $113 to pay for this. I don't I don't want to ask my parents because they've been they've been helping me out a lot lately and I just don't want to ask for that college professors know that college students don't typically have a lot of money or things are tight and then we're already paying a lot to go to school why would they assign us these really expensive class materials but I'm gonna quickly eat lunch and then I'm gonna head over there and try to knock out some work Can we get us well? okay. I'm back guys. It's like 8.45 and I've been back for like 20 minutes by now, honestly. It has been such a busy day, but such a fruitful one. I didn't vlog any of the event just because I didn't really feel like bringing out my camera, but I did make a TikTok about it. So if you want to see it, follow me on TikTok. I had such a great time. I was only at the event for about two hours, not even, but there was just so much information that I learned there. I'm wearing the shirt of the guy that is running for state senate in Illinois. So not senator of Illinois, but like, you know, he's going to be in like the Illinois government. That was such a fun event. I had a really good time and I just learned so much. The man's name is Dr. Dave Nyack and he is a physician. I was invited to come because like I said I had offered to babysit for them. They go to the gym that I work at and 
I was just like, why not go? Because he is in the medical field. I'm interested in public health. And the wife literally told me that the reason why she offered to invite me, the reason why she invited me to this event was because I had come up to her and asked if she needed a babysitter. And she liked how outgoing and driven I was. That was such a compliment because I often second guess myself. And sometimes I'm just way too shy to like go out for what I want. But no, like I needed to be outgoing. That's literally what got me to this event in the first place. I'm now home and I'm gonna eat dinner and do homework. This was such an interesting first day of classes though. I had a really good time. I got to see a lot of people. I went to this event. Now I have so much homework to do, but I don't have classes for the rest of the week. I need to just spend the rest of the week getting ready for my birthday and also finishing my homework. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Plus turn on post notifications to be notified each time I post a new video and follow me on my other social media accounts to get the inside scoop of what's going on in my life. I also want to thank people that have been commenting on my videos and showing me lots of love. You guys honestly just keep me going and seeing your comments just makes me want to continue to put out good content for you guys. I know I'm not the biggest creator on here by any means but seeing comments encouraging me and telling me that they really enjoy my content just means the world to me. You guys don't even understand so thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.